Hello everyone, my name is Erki, and I'm going to briefly talk about what a matrix is, and how you can use it for strategic decision making, and go over a few popular examples used in management strategy. A matrix is a tool used to visualize complex problems, and help you make a choice. There are only two elements that are needed for a matrix. They are decision criteria, or what factors you are analyzing, and any number of choices. Let's start by illustrating the most basic elements of a 2x2 two two matrix. On one axis, you will put decision criteria 1. On the other, decision criteria 2. From here, we can form a grid with four options that account for various degrees of each criteria. So let's make an example. Say you want to decide whether to go to business school or start work. On the one hand, you want to gain business knowledge, but you also want to gain work experience. These are our two decision criteria. The first option you might pick is going to university, where you'll get a lot of knowledge about business, but unfortunately have very little time to work. In the top left square, we can put the option go to work. You may gain work experience, but miss out on a lot of the benefits of a formal education. Let's say you want to do neither, then you might choose to live at home unemployed. But if you want the best of both worlds, you might pick technical school. This way you can learn about business, but also get some work experience through an internship. Now we can put our decision making tool into business terms. A common problem companies with a lot of products have is knowing which ones to invest in. Let's pick two factors for looking at the problem. We have some products which have a larger market share, and some which are growing faster in other markets. Although products fall somewhere on this grid, we can come up with four simple categories and then assign each with a different investment choice. Our first option is going to be to milk our high market share products. Let's call them cows. Now, our high growth products are a little more tricky, so we need to analyze them further. Let's call those question marks. Our products that aren't doing well in either criteria should be killed. Let's call them a dog. Finally, our star products doing everything right well should be invested in. Now you guessed it, we just made a BCG matrix. Now with our products, what should we do in markets? Well, we can make a matrix for that problem too. Let's make our decision criteria an either-or statement. So either we are bringing our old products to the market or brand new ones, and we are either staying in the same old markets or entering new ones. Now we can come up with four strategy decisions for any combo of our criteria. The first will be to diversify ourselves from the competitors with our new products, or maybe we could penetrate the new market with our old products. If we decide to change nothing, then it's up for us to develop the market so it keeps growing. But if we are doing everything new, then we should focus on developing our products. Seems simple enough, right? Well, we just created an Ansoft matrix. But wait, what if we wanted to create a 3x3 three three matrix? Sounds complicated, right? Well, this is going to help us make more refined decision criteria. Say, for example, you are a company with lots of products in lots of different markets. We need to look at more general terms. So for our first criteria, let's choose the competitive position of our product. And for the other criteria, let's look at the big picture. How attractive is the industry? Meaning, does it have the potential to grow? Are there other macro factors presenting complications, etc.? But since we have three squares on each side, let's break those criteria up into high, medium, and low scores. And we're going to do the same for the other criteria, low, medium, and high. But instead of getting nine separate options, let's break up our choices into three even regions. So our first region is going to tell us to divest from these products, like the dogs in the BCG matrix. But we have a little bit more gradation in what is considered a dog. Our other clear choice is going to be to invest, like the stars. But what about our last three boxes? Well, for those, we're going to have to examine them further. So let's put question marks for future analysis. 
And just like that, we created the McKinsey matrix. So to review, matrices help visualize complicated problems by a couple of decision factors. The resulting grid gives us different choices to make on a spectrum between our criteria. It's a great way to visually conceptualize a problem and break it down into its core parts. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of our presentation.